Hey guys, if this is not a success story, I don't know what is. Okay, this is my one of my communal semi-hydro trays. You can see it's that plastic tray with the handles on the sides. And this one has all the Hoyas in it. And <laughs> they're all doing incredibly well together. Um, I just flushed it, that's why everything looks drenched. I flushed it out to give it some clean water in the reservoir. Um, the only challenge I am having with this setup is that my Hoya Bella right here is growing way too fast that it's growing into the light and it's getting discolored. Not even normal stress color because it's I think it's really too close to the light. So you can see very unusual coloring. That's the only thing that is an issue. And what I'm probably gonna end up doing is just to take cuttings of these guys just to keep this at a manageable size because if I back up, you can see it's just growing like crazy. And this is on our plant rack and the lights are above, so they're growing up into the lights. So yeah, we have the Bella. We have, this is I believe a regular Carnosa. Then we have a Carnosa um, Pink Princess, Pink Queen. This is a um, Australis Lisa. And over here, this is a Crinkle 8. I believe and it's even got some splash on it look at that we've got some splash um and then i have a white i think that's what this is i can never remember another uh crimson princess and where i thought i had this one was a what was this some type of carnosa it started to die down i stuck it in here and now it's got some new buds growing but as you can see, these plants really love this situation, okay? <laughs> uh, it's just crazy. I can't get over it, especially Bella. Bella has grown incredibly well. -a. That was bad. Okay. Um, and medium, just to re, uh, reiterate what these are growing in, most of these are in lava rock. Just the plain old red lava rock that you find at big box stores as soil coverings. It's fantastic at wicking and holding some moisture in the pores of the stone. And this is a Lecco one back here. The Lecco one isn't doing as well as the lava rock, and neither is the grow stone, the buddy stone here. It's the recycled glass, the white ones. These guys don't do as well as the lava rock, lava rock, lava rock, lava rock. So it's always been one of, if not my favorite uh, semi-hydro growing media. But uh, yeah, you can see the different growths. And these guys don't get fertilized way too often. I just give them very, very, very diluted orchid fertilizer, maybe once a month. And I pour that into the reservoir and I'm sure it doesn't all get used up. And every time I gotta fill the reservoir, I just fill it with plain water until that nutrient is completely gone. And I know that there's enough nutrient in there because there always is a lot of algae in there. Doesn't seem to harm the plants at all, as you can see, but when I flush it, I get rid of the, um, the algae, at least most of it. I don't need to get rid of all of it because I think there is some sort of a symbiotic relationship between epiphytic plants and at least some epiphytic plants and algae, algae and moss. Anyway, yeah, so these guys are doing great. Um, can't complain. If you have any questions about the semi-hydro group tray situation going on here, just ask um, whatever your questions are. I will get back to you. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? This is a lot of fun stuff here, right? Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to be notified. And I will see you in the next video.